Tonight, we are hearing from the other man who was in the car during a traffic stop that sparked an investigation with Detroit City Council President Pro Tem George Cushingberry, who's at the center of this whole thing. The two were stopped after leaving a bar Tuesday night. Internal Affairs is investigating to find out if the councilman received special treatment. Cushingberry, though, claims he was actually mistreated. 7 Action News reporter Ronnie Dahl tracked down Cushingberry last night and talked to him here live. And tonight, she tracked down the other man involved and joins us live again. Ronnie, what did this guy have to say? Well, he is definitely a character. Now, Richard Clement says the politician was just doing him a favor. The president pro tem decided to go ahead and ex extend that favor by picking up Clement, giving him a ride. The two decided to stop off here, grab something to eat, something to drink, and it turned into a night everyone is still talking about. By now, you've probably heard this story that started with dinner and drinks between a couple of old friends at this neighborhood bar, the Penthouse Lounge. It was 10 o'clock Tuesday night. Newly elected Detroit City Council President Pro Tem George Cushingberry Jr. and his friends say they just left the place when they were pulled over by Detroit police. Things got dicey when cops smelled booze and pot. Free the weed. That's, that's the jobs we need. The weed belonged to this man, the passenger in Cushingberry's car that night, Richard Clement. I'm a medical man. I want a uh, supporter, patient, advocate. So it was just one joint. One joint. One joint. He looked at it, and I thought they took it. But I looked at hey, he gave it back. We met up with Clement Friday night while he was taking part in the internet show 5XL Large and In Charge. He says the story has been twisted and backs up what the councilman said. The two were not at a strip club, and there was no police chase. Where the is George Cushingberry going to go? Where's he going to run? The man got elected on TV. And where the hell is he going to drive up and down the street? Come on. I wasn't doing anything wrong. The politician tried to say he was the victim of racial profiling, pulled over by white officers, which wasn't the case at all. Yeah. But were the officers white because, you know... What was the brother? The brother jacked me around. A supervisor let Cushingberry go with only a traffic citation, but this story is far from over. The supervisor's actions that night are being reviewed by the Detroit Police Department, and now we're learning the city of Detroit's Office of Inspector General is involved investigating the president pro tem's conduct during the traffic stop. And on top of that, Action News has uncovered Cushingberry's pay may be garnished due to his actions as an attorney. And so Clement also telling us tonight that he actually manages the President Pro Tem's social media site. And he was actually the one that posted a few comments this week that has everyone talking, not the President Pro Tem himself. For now, we are live on the city's west side. Ronnie Dahl, Stephen, back to you. All right, Ronnie, I'll take it from here. Thank you so much.